animation techniques, customizing your scene with photographs, graphics and AVI video. You can use solid colors, textures, photographs, graphics and AVI videos to customize and personalize your video set. In this video, we'll discover how to place images and videos onto backdrops in our scene. Movizu only accepts AVI video files to be projected on backdrops. Not all AVI video file work properly. We will use Zlisoft Video Converter to produce an AVI that works in Movizu. There are a lot of sets that have textures, graphics, photographs. This is a backdrop of a brick wall, but it's really just a texture that we can change. Just right click and choose properties and then click the picture. This is a picture on a wall. You can change it to something else just that easily. These types of settings can be useful for example you have this these windows and we have scenes that are behind the windows of the outdoors be And by changing these images to the night image, we're changing day to night within this apartment scene. And it's just a matter of finding the files that you're looking for. Okay, there you have it. You just change day into night. And now back to day again. Just a matter of the image that you put on the backdrop. The still image is what you need there. When I was looking at the pictures, I noticed one that looked familiar, it reminded me of something to mention. I think that's it right there. Yes, that looks, that reminds me of, I took a photograph of my refrigerator and it became Ben's refrigerator so that an object such as that will take will act as a backdrop and take an image just like that one as a refrigerator scene Now, as another type of example, we'll take a monitor. It's just another type of backdrop. You can change that to some other image. And then you can change the level of illumination on a slider. And on the lower slider you can also change the level of color saturation. From full color to black and white basically. Now regarding AVI files, 
MovieZoo can only take AVI files, but it doesn't take just any type. The common AVI file that you try in an example like this, you'll get this kind of result. It's not working. That's the AVI file at the bottom of the monitor. That's your image. So what you can do is take that same file and run it through your you you run it through Zillasoft video file converter. Choose input your file choose AVI as the type on the blue bar and then over to the right you change the setting to Microsoft MPEG-4 I don't know exactly why. It has to do with codec and such. But we'll see that the file will work. This is a free version of Zillasoft, so it's limited as to the size of the file that it will process. Okay, we've saved our new file. The file that came out of Zilla Soft will be loaded now. And it's the same file that we had before, but it's gone through Zilla Soft and now it works. Again, you can change the illumination level on the top slider and the color saturation level on the bottom slider. and in a loop. The set we are using today is the 3D City Block by Clayster 2012. This is a mega set of a 3D City Block. In some of the buildings you can place for sale items in the windows and you can replace the text with your own. This set this makes for a great cartoon episode for anyone. This set is an example of the large variety of free user-generated content available at MoverZoo in addition to a selection of paid content. Mm -hmm.